What's up, everyone? For the Winatachi here, you know what it is. Bringing you something new to the For the Winatachi channel. Um, this is in kind of coincidence with my top fives with my Pokemon videos, which I have yet to start, but I do have um, some ideas on where I'm gonna start with. I just gotta get to the recording and actual making of those videos. But without further ado, we're gonna be going over everything Pokemon Go related because Pokemon Go, or AKA Yanko, and uh, Pokemon Inc as well as Nintendo, released some information today uh, in regards to Pokemon Go, and I have yet to release a Pokemon Go video, so in this video I'm going to be releasing a two-part video, one on the gameplay that happened a couple, uh, basically last week, and um, one in this video we're going to be going on all of the information within Pokemon Go, as well as the information that was just released today. So hopefully you enjoy the video, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and let's get started. Starting off with the basics of Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go is basically a mobile game for the Android and iPhone that is being developed by the Pokemon company and Niantic. A former Google startup that has since branched out on its own and is known for its earlier augmented reality mobile game Ingress, if, for those of you that have heard about it, and where Nintendo will, of course, also contribute as a po as Pokemon is a Nintendo-based game. Pokemon Go is a mobile app that you're gonna download for your Android and smart Android smartphone or iPhone, but play in a real world through augmented reality. In Pokemon Go, the aim is to locate, catch, battle, trade Pokemon. And you are encouraged to go out in the world and explore, and to connect with other nearby Pokemon Go players as you do so. So basically this game is going to be that true definition of actually catching them all. Another thing that I found out about um, Pokemon Go is Niantic's approach to getting the game in users' hands. Pokemon Go will become the first game in the franchise to dump a cover charge. Uh, Pokemon Go will be completely free to all users to download, so hip hip hooray! Uh, that being said, it won't come without opportunities to spend money because of course companies have to make money somehow and this is going to be a great and amazing game. So in-app purchases are confirmed for the game, meaning users will be able to spend money on add-ons for their characters, presumably these purchases will occur through a digital Pokemon store and matches the other games in the series. Uh, what items will be for sale with microtransactions and how much each will cost is unknown at this point. Um, you're going to see in the background, uh, in the third picture, um, it's an example of what we can expect with the prices and what we'll be purchasing. We'll be purchasing Pokeballs, maybe, perhaps, perhaps not. We have no information on this yet. We might even purchase because some things that I've noticed within the uh, trailers um, that we'll be going over in a bit. Um, Pokemon the actual trainers within the app have their own uh, costumes. So you're going to be able to customize your trainers, maybe. You might have to purchase some um, jackets, some shoes, or some whatever wearables, and that might be a way to uh, spend some money into the game. You might be purchasing it on Pokeballs, and there's also a currency in the game called Crystal Points. So it's a little bit all over the place right now, but there's going to be some in-app purchases, so stay tuned for that. Next up, Niantic Inc. is looking to hide special items at what they're calling Pokestops. This is new information, and those will be located at interesting places such as public art installations, historical markers, and monuments. Talking about getting people out in order to explore their neighborhood, these Pokestops will also offer unique Pokemon eggs. So the reason why you're going to be going to these Pokestops is because they're going to have special items for you to grab. And that will only hatch after players walk a certain distance. Just how it is in the games, you might have to walk 500 steps, but I actually think they might do it a little bit more. Um, because these Pokemon eggs are going to be rare. Um, Pokestops are going to be all over the place at special locations. So stay tuned for more information on that. Players are trainers, of course, and trainers actually have their own leveling system in Pokemon Go, which you're going to be noticing in some of the pictures. That level will let players find and catch more powerful Pokemon and gain access to more items. With this process, you will also evolve Pokemon through a specific method of once you've caught multiples of a single species, then the Pokemon will evolve. Basically, you're going to gain experience as a trainer for catching Pokemon. Catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go is kind of like the Safari Zone. You're not going to be fighting them. 
They might give you the options to give throw bait. They might give the options to throw sticks. Uh, who knows? But you're most likely just going to be throwing Pokeballs, and you have a chance to catch them, and you have a chance to not catch them. But eventually, the Pokemon might run away, and it might not, just like the Safari Zone playstyle of catching a Pokemon. Players will join one of three teams and enter gym battles against others. This is also new information. So once you're on a team, you'll be able to assign one of your Pokemon to an empty gym. And these gyms will be located in real-world locations, and they'll represent a team's effort to control a given area. So basically, you're going to see, kind of on a Google Map basis uh, from Pokemon Go, you're going to be one in three teams. They're going to be gyms located in your specific area. So there's going to be multiple gyms. There's not going to be just eight gyms per region. There's no real regions because the whole world is a region. So there's going to be tons of gyms everywhere. But um, you're going to assign one of your Pokemon to be at that gym. Now, I'm not sure how the battle sequence is going to work, where if you go to a gym and you just battle kind of NPC Pokemon based off of the Pokemon you left there, or do you actually battle with your Pokemon to secure the gym's stronghold? Because if you do beat the gym, you take control of that gym. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to battle as the gym leader itself, and I doubt you will be able to. It's probably going to be an NPC-based gameplay. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the teams. You're just basically going to be controlling gyms within a team of other people that are in your area and go ahead and try to get the gym badge and take control of that gym and stronghold. Pokemon Go will also have a beta and field test and this is going to happen in late March and this will also be made available for those who own and use an Android device running version 4.3 and higher and the iPhone 5 or later. That's great news because they're actually getting into the beta testing phase, which is meaning this is going to come out this year for sure, hopefully, if the beta testing goes well. But this is only going to be available to those in Japan. Now, the pictures in the background are Google translated pictures. So if you're in the United States trying to get onto the uh, beta testing website, you're going to notice that it's going to say on the first screen, this is not something around the lines of this is not available in your region. Please stay tuned for more information on the Indianto site. Something like that. Not sure how it's gonna how, if we're ever gonna get beta testing, but they're gonna be doing it in Japan, and it's not available to everyone in Japan either. It's gonna be a real limited edition. So for those that signed up, it's gonna be lottery pick drawn out of the hat thing. And if you get chosen, congratulations. If not. I mean, there's not that many people that are going to be doing this beta testing at all. Last but not least, I'm going to go over the overall feedback of what Pokemon thinks Pokemon won't. Well, what Pokemon knows what Pokemon Go is going to be. This is basically the description of Pokemon Go. You're going to be basically traveling between the real world and the virtual world of Pokemon and Pokemon Go for iPhone and Android devices. With Pokemon Go, you'll discover Pokemon in a whole new world, your own. Pokemon Go will use real locations to encourage players to search far and wide in the real world to discover Pokemon. The Pokemon video game series has used real world locations such as Hokkaido and Kanto regions of Japan, New York, and Paris as inspirations for fantasy settings in which the games take place. Now the real world is going to be the actual setting. You get on your feet and step outside to find and catch wild Pokemon. Explore cities and towns around where you live and even around the globe to capture as many Pokemon as you can. As you move around, your smartphone will vibrate to let you know you're near a Pokemon. Once you've encountered a Pokemon, take aim on your smartphone, touch the screen, and throw a Pokeball to catch it. Be careful when you try to catch it or it might run away. So they do have the options of running away, just like the Safari Zone. Also, look for Pokestops, located at interesting places such as public art installations, historic markers, and monuments, like I stated before, where you'll be able to collect more Pokeballs and other items. And these other items are going to be, for example, the eggs that I was talking about. In Pokemon Go, you'll gain levels as a trainer. And at higher levels, you'll be able to catch more powerful Pokemon to complete your Pokedex. You'll also gain access to more powerful items, such as Great Balls, Ultra Balls, even Master Balls, to give you a better shot at catching Pokemon. Keep exploring and encountering Pokemon to raise your level. There are also ways to add Pokemon to your roster too. 
if you catch the same species of Pokemon enough times, you'll get the opportunity to evolve one of them. And as you explore, you may find Pokemon eggs at Pokestops, which will hatch into uh, Pokemon you have never even seen yet. Some wild Pokemon will appear only in certain places, near where you live or around the world. For example, water-type Pokemon might appear near lakes and oceans only. If you're away from home, be sure to stay alert for any Pokemon battle that might happen anywhere. Might even happen in your pants, who knows. At a certain point in the game, you'll be asked to join one of three teams. Once you join a team, you'll gain an ability to assign Pokemon you've caught to an empty gym location or to a location where a team member has placed one of his or her Pokemon. Like Pokestops, gyms can be found at real locations in the world. Each player can place only one Pokemon at a particular gym. So you're encouraged to work with others on the team to build up a strong defense. If the gym is already claimed by another team, you can challenge that gym using your own Pokemon, using the Pokemon you've caught, engage in battle, and the defending Pokemon at the gym to claim control. A wide variety of challenges are available that highlight many different categories, such as catching Pokemon and exploration. By completing these challenges, you'll unlock achievements, medals, and appear in your player profile. Try your best to unlock as many medals as you can. A portable device called the Pokemon Go Plus, which is the little watch thing that's going to be enabling Pokemon Go players to enjoy the game even while they're not looking at their smartphones. The device connects to a smartphone via Bluetooth and notifies player about the events in game, such as an appearance of a Pokemon nearby. Using the LED vibrations, in addition, players can catch Pokemon to perform other simple actions by pressing the button on the device. Pokemon Go Plus will be available soon. Check back for more details because there's not that much information besides basically what everyone else knows about and what it looks like. But what I would like to say about it is it can be worn on your wrist as like a watch type thing or it can be clipped onto your waist. An early field test limited to Japan only is planned for Pokemon Go while the game is still active in development. The features available, language, design, and overall appearance are not final. So for those of you that are testing in Japan, Please stay tuned for more information about expansions of the field tests to other markets. For example, North America, Europe, South America, everywhere else, you get it. Pokemon Go will be available for download at no charge on the App Store in Google Play, so hell yeah, and app purchases will also be available, like I stated earlier. So stay tuned for more information on Pokemon Go on the channel of For the Winitachi. But before we go, I want to say stay tuned for two more episodes of this overall Pokemon Go series that I've got going on because the next two episodes, one is going to be a in-depth analysis on the Pokemon Go trailer and the other one is going to be an in-depth analysis on the Pokemon Go actual live gameplay that happened last week. So this is pretty much all the information that we've got in Pokemon Go that is active right now. But again, I do have more information that I will be giving to you within the in-depth analysis videos of the Pokemon trailer, as well as the Pokemon gameplay. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for tuning in. For the Winitachi is...